Good morning. I'm Charles Lejano. This is One News Now. Parts of Luneta Park are now open to the public, but only, vote, only for those who want to exercise. Let's check out the latest on the ground with News 5's JC Cosico. JC, good morning. What's going on in Luneta? Charles, it's Thursday morning and some health buffs opted to exercise here at the Rezal for Orleneta after its partial opening yesterday. Some park goers say they opted to exercise here because it's quite challenging to work out in their homes, while others say they missed the park as it was closed for months due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Yesterday, the National Parks Development Committee announced the partial opening of the park. However, some parts of it remain closed, while exercising is the only activity allowed within the premises. Only the central section or promenade area will be open for guests from 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. Boitering is not allowed. Vendors are still prohibited in Luneta at the time being, so people would have to bring their own water to quench their thirst. The public park implements a no face mask, no entry policy, with the public also required to fill out health declaration forms. People are also required to disinfect and have their temperatures checked prior to their entry. Guests were told to practice physical distancing and to follow the one-way signs on the paths. Entrance and exit points are at PM Kalau Street, the Rizal Park Visitor Center and Senior Citizens Garden. Some park goers shared their thoughts about the park's reopening. Here's what they have to say on this. Namiss kasi namin ang luneta. Oo, tsaka maganda dito kasi malinis na. Tsaka nakikita mo yung social distancing talaga. Sa malawak yung pagtatakbuhan. nag exercise para po maging healthy lagi. Iwas COVID. First air. Tapos malinis. Tapos, ano, uh, masyadong mahigpit, kaya ligtas. <laughs> eh, maluwag dito eh. Okay. Namiss niya ba dito, sir? Oo, eh, mas maganda dito kaysa bahay, napakasikip eh. Okay. Charles guests were told to properly dispose of their garbage to maintain the cleanliness of the park. Spitting is also not allowed. Violators will be penalized. Back to you. Thank you, JC Cosico. Here are other stories we are keeping our eyes on. The health department is now looking into reports of a new swine flu in China that might trigger a pandemic. Meanwhile, the Customs Bureau orders all ports to stay vigilant and carefully examine all food shipments to the country. The Commission on Higher Education allows medical schools to admit students who have not yet taken the National Medical Admission Test or NMAT. This after the CHED failed to administer the test last March due to the Luzon lockdown. And more than 6,000 traditional jeepneys are gearing up for their return to 49 routes starting tomorrow, July 3. The LTFRB maintains that only jeepneys that are considered roadworthy can resume operations. For more updates, follow News 5, the Philippine Star, and Business World online. You can also visit our website, onenews.ph, for more in-depth analysis. And you can catch One News on the Signal Play app. Let's register for a free account now at www.signalplay.com and stream One News live anytime, anywhere. I'm Charles Lejano. We are One News.